You haven't got to put miles away, just good variety, slow, fast, bit of belly, bit of top. I would think about 195. He always plays tricks on you with angles and colours and backgrounds, so it's, it's a very technical shoot. You know? And what makes you happy? Winning. We <laughs> <laughs> always enjoy coming here. John puts on a great round of targets. This would by far and away be the biggest shoot there is in the country. Welcome to the Essex Gun Masters. For many, it marks the start of the clay season. Its success is organic, word of mouth bringing competitors from far and wide to enjoy 200 targets over one or two days. It's inclusive, it's enjoyable and it works. Apart from the shots wanting a good day, there are the incentives too. Some big names are throwing their support behind the Masters. Kriekhoff is offering a K80 to the high gun, a Cesar Guarini to the runner-up. There's cash and game ball shells too. In total, a prize pot of more than £42,000. Promatic is another of the main sponsors, integral to this event, delivering on its promise. It is their crucial input backstage that ensures this competition flows, and it has to. I always start everyone on stand one and it runs through like clockwork, really, you know, as long as you don't get any track problems. But, you know, I use Promatic traps, so uh, Promatic clay, so uh, we don't normally get any problems at all, so it runs well. There were 2,000 odd entries as well. Um, yeah, there's a couple of guys here babysitting for the week, but um, you know we've got the reliable equipment to, to do the job and make sure it all goes smoothly as we've done before um, around the world, really. You know. It is the first day of the competition, and many of the big names are here to set the pace. George Digweed and Richard Folds have both scored 98 on the red course. Last year's winner, Mark Windsor, is kicking himself, admitting some inexcusable misses. I didn't take my opportunity on stand one and two right behind me here. I missed one on each, which uh, is just unforgivable, you know. They're, they're 25 yard targets showing full face. You can't miss stuff like that. And then eventually I got myself into gear, went round there, missed one sloppy target, but at the end of the day you've got to kill them all. And then I just chucked three away on the last stand on the on the tougher stuff, as you say. Um, but, you know, he's beat you again by speed and angle, that's all it is. As well as speed and angles, running a competition in the UK at any time of year over more than one day means the weather can influence the result. George knows the conditions are favourable today and would welcome a freak meteorological episode any time after he starts making tracks back to Sussex. Plenty of years I've come and been in conditions where it's minus 12 and, and blowing a gale and, and this year we've lucked out and long may it continue. And I really, really hope that it blows a huge gale and pours the rain from about five o'clock. That's not very nice. <laughs> I think you could call it competitive instinct. It's the only thing that wasn't beaten out of me. <laughs> and there's Neville Jay. Neville, Neville needs a mention as well, because without his input and support, um, every year this event wouldn't take place and it's grown to be one of the best events, if not the best event in the calendar. There we go. The fact that he earns a fortune out of it, <laughs> lives off it for the entire year is irrelevant. George, like Mark Windsor, is a Promatic ambassador and applauds the work they do all over the world and the Masters has proved another success. You've got a squatted environment, you know, when something has to flow one after the other, you can't have a track fall down because it just causes clogs and cues, you know. So, Promatic, you know, all credit to them. We've, we've not had a fault out there at all, and they've all run so smoothly. And they look great, they're all brand spanking new traps, it looks really good. The likes of George and Richard Folds have come back onto the clays from a hectic game season. So, does Richard find it a difficult transition? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, in a word. no, I mean, I didn't, I didn't shoot a clay December and January, um, and then started again, sort of beginning of February, just doing a few local shoots. So yeah, this is the first one of the, one of the big ones of the year. So it's nice to, nice to shoot with some sun on my backs. To be fair, 98 this morning, missed a complete pair on my tenth stand, but uh, managed to finish the rest off. So we'll see what this afternoon brings. 
At the end of the first day, George leads the charge with 191. There will be more than a thousand more competitors chasing him over the following days. According to Martin, whose family owns this lovely part of Essex, the Masters is growing at an astonishing rate. There is, you know, just this ongoing sort of word of word of mouth that has just grown and grown and grown. And where it's going to go, I don't know. Well, we, we got to within an inch of having to go a seventh day this year. 400,000-ish shots and clays later, we find out whether the big names have held their positions through the week. Sunday is as busy as any of the other days. Good job it's beginning the season. <laughs> I've made a few, couple of mistakes on two stands, I dropped eight birds, so... We were told when to go out, and it runs like clockwork. Me favourite. The first stand of shot I got here, mate. <laughs> I'm happy with how I shot, but... Yeah, should have still got at least 20 more. On Friday, I found out that I got in the England team for the World Sporting. Fantastic shoot again, again. It's all I can say, brilliant. I'll be here next year. You know, the way shooting's going, the atmosphere of it, you're, the grounds are making you feel more welcome. The very first year I shot it, I shot 150. Then the second year, I shot 170. Then I shot 179 this year. So, I was just happy because uh, all my scores are increasing each year. At the start, Martin thought 195 would win it. George reckoned 194 was suitable, but he's crowned champion with 191. Richard Folds is in second place with 190, and then Chris Daniels matches it, forcing a shoot-off. There'll be a winner, there'll be a, there'll be a loser, so hopefully I'm the winner. See? It's all friendly, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's always there with the shooting scene, everybody's friendly. There's no enemies around here. So, all's good. Done. Thank you, everybody. Richard reclaims the second spot. Second and Cheryl Hall wins the ladies' competition with 179. Once again, the Essex Gun Masters has energised the start of the clay season. If you feel you could have done better with a bit more practice, you can get more information about Primatic Traps by going to primatic.co.uk.